Namaste, peace and blessings. Thank you so much for joining me on my yoga school virtual studio. I ask that we find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. Any easy seat that feels good for you, may you find your position. As we are using our easy seat to help relax and wind down the mind and body. Ensuring that the tummy is nice and tight. Spinal cords nice and elongated, meaning we are not sunken. Having control of our bodies. With our shoulders relaxed downward away from our ears. This allows us to relax and soothe the upper parts of our bodies. As we take a nice deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body as we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer. Maybe our thumbs are touching our sternum, the center of our chest, if that feels good. Continuing to gaze downward, relaxing silent meditation for natural breaths. Two more breaths. Allowing our palms to relax to the sides of our bodies, connecting our palms to the earth as we are tuning into our environment. Taking a moment to notice what is going on around us, right here, right now, in our present moment, being aware. And during our session here today, we may hear noises and sounds. We may become distracted. However, may we only allow in what is comforting and soothing for us in our practice here today. Two more breaths. As we bring our feet to a bound position, coming into a diamond or a butterfly, the bottoms of our feet are connecting. This here is a hip opener. In our diamond, our feet are further away from our bodies. In our butterfly, our feet are closer towards our bodies. So that butterfly pose is a deeper hip opener. So taking a moment to see which one feels best for you. As we open up their heart chakra, straightening that spine, chin is up. Allowing our head to relax between our shoulder blades, we're gonna flow into a cow, three breaths. Two breaths. Flow into our cat, bringing our chin to our clavicle, tummy's tucked, spinal cord flows to the back of the room. Cat pulls, three breaths. Two breaths. Flowing back to our cow. Exhale, cat. Coming back to our diamond or our butterfly. And we're gonna slightly hinge at the hips, allowing the torso to come downward towards the feet. Shoulder blades melt forward as our head melts downward towards our feet, coming deeper into the seated forward fold, if that feels good. And you may notice that when we hinge at the hips, we'll feel it a little deeper here in our inner thighs. So we're gonna hang out here, four breaths. Two more breaths. And exhale into half forward fold. Coming back to that staff, I'm sorry, coming back to that diamond or that butterfly pose. We're gonna use our hands to bring our legs inward. We're gonna straighten our legs, flowing into staff pose. Legs are parallel side by side. Our toes are pointing upwards towards the heavens as we relax our palms on our laps as we are gaze forward, slightly lowering the eyes downward, taking a nice breath in, 
exhale. Relaxing here in our staff pose, taking a moment to go inward, three breaths. As we hinge at the hips, coming into that half forward fold, or we can flow into a complete forward fold, connecting our hands to our ankles or the bottoms of our feet. Whatever feels best for you, shoulders melt forward, head relaxes downward toward the knees. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into half as we come back to our staff pose. Relax in the body as we breathe our palms above our heads and our salute. Palms are together, heart chakras open, chin is up. Interlacing our fingers with that pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens, allowing our arms to slightly flow towards the back of the room. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale to center, separating the palms. Twisting the body towards the right. Palms come downward. We're going to slightly gaze over our right shoulder. Tummies are tucked at our navel. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center. Breathing our arms out to our side and our star hands. Twisting the body towards the left. Palms come downward, gazing over that left shoulder. Three breaths. Exhaling back to center. We are in that staff pose. We're going to work on another seated twist, Sage Marici, going a little deeper. Taking our right foot, breathing our right foot up. Well, right knee's in the air, right foot is flat on the earth. And we can stay in this pose or we can cross this right foot over that left if that feels good. As we bring this right hand behind our backs with our fingertips facing away from us, we are in that twist. To go deeper, we can cross this left arm over that right knee as we gaze over that right shoulder. Slightly gazing the eyes downward, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, uncrossing that leg, straightening it out into that staff pose as we hinge at the hips, coming to that half forward fold or complete forward fold. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling up to our half, coming to our staff as we breathe this left knee in the air, left foot is flat on the earth. We can hold this pose or we can cross this left knee over that right thigh, bringing this left hand behind our backs with our fingertips facing away from us. We can gaze over that left shoulder or we can go deeper, crossing this right elbow over that left leg as we gaze over that left shoulder. Gaze in the eyes downward or closing them. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, uncrossing that leg, straighten it to our staff pose. We're gonna hang out here, placing our palms on our laps. Allowing our eyes to flutter down. As we point our toes downward towards the earth, coming into that ballerina's foot, that plantar flex. We're simply just going to hang out here as we are connecting to the earth, connecting to our environment. We are grounding our mind and our bodies. Four breaths of silence. Two more breaths. As we cross our feet, we're going to come onto our hands and our knees, coming into a tabletop pose. Knees are hip distance apart. 
palms are flat on the earth. As we drop our tummies down to our cow, you'll feel this in your lumbar spine, your lower back. Chin is up, we are in our cow. This relaxes and soothes our lumbar spine. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Flow into our cat, tucking our tummy in, breathing our chin to our clavicle, spinal cord flows up to the heavens. Four breaths. Two breaths. Flowing back to cow. Exhale, cat. Come into our table. We're gonna breathe our right leg towards the back, feeling that stretch. We're gonna pulse that leg, that right leg up. And when we pulse, we are working on that gluteus maximus, rounding and lifting. We are working on that gluteus maximus, rounding and lifting. Four breaths. Tummies are tight, gaze forward. Two more breaths. We're gonna find that pause. We're gonna extend that left arm forward. So we have our right leg to the back, left arms forward. We are in this full sunbird. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Coming back to table, dropping down to cow. Exhale, cat. Coming back to our table as we breathe our left leg towards the back, feeling that stretch. And we're gonna pulse that left leg up and down, working at gluteus maximus, opposite side. Feeling that buttocks round and lift, four breaths. Two more breaths. We're gonna find our pause, extending that right arm forward. Left legs to the back, sunbird, opposite side, balancing and strengthening here. As we are gaze forward, tummies tucked, four breaths. Two breaths. Coming back to our table, dropping down to cow. Exhale, cat. Coming back to our table as we breathe our right arm up in the air, opening up that heart chakra, gazing upwards at our fingertips. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale, thread the needle, threading that right arm through the left. Heart chakra comes down towards the earth, relaxing the sides of our faces onto the yoga mat. Shoulder blades melt forward. Thread the needle, soothing and relaxing. We can option to wrap this left arm around our back. Or extending that left arm above the head, palms flat on the ears, thread the needle for breast of silence. Two more breaths. Slowly unwrapping that arm. If it was wrapped, I'm threading that needle back in our table. Dropping down to cow. Exhale, cat. Coming back to our table. As we breathe our left arm up in the air, opening up their heart chakra, gazing up at the left fingertips, taking a nice breath in. Exhale, thread the needle, left arm threads through the right heart chakra, comes downward towards the earth, relaxing the sides of our faces onto the yoga mat. Optioning to wrap this Right one behind our backs if we choose.
before we can extend it above our heads, palms flat on the earth, four breaths of silence. Two more breaths. Slowly coming out of that thread the needle, coming back to our table, dropping down to cow. Mm. Exhale, cats. Coming back to our table. As we're gonna come flat down onto our tummies, coming into a Spanx pose, low plank to Spanx pose. We're just gonna relax here. The Spanx pose is a slight back bend. Our shoulders are not shrugged. They are away from our ears. With our heart chakra open and our chin up, slightly gazing the eyes down, taking a nice deep breath in, exhale, soothing and relaxing here, four breaths of silence. Two more breaths. Exhaling down to our sleeping crocodile, crossing our hands in front of us, palms are stacked on top of each other, relaxing our chin, our cheeks, or our forehead, onto our palms as our shoulder blades melts forward. Close any eyes. I'm gonna take another moment to go inward. We are continuing to ground and root our mind and our bodies here. This is a grounding flow. Four breaths of silence. Slowly awakening up, we're gonna flow into our baby cobra, placing our palms next to our torso. Elbows are bent as we lift our torso away from the earth. Baby cobra. Chin is up. Flowing into that cobra, we're gonna straighten our elbows a little more. And our torso is a little further away from the earth. This is a deeper back then. Chin is up. Exhale into up dog, untucking our toes, taking our thighs off the earth. Chin is up, three breaths, working our arms, the upper parts of our bodies. Two more breaths. Exhale back down to our cobra, flowing to baby cobra, bending those elbows. As we swim my hands in front of us, coming into a Superman, Supergirl, taking those thighs off the earth, feet is off the earth. Superman, Supergirl, like we are flying. We are working at back, number spine. And we can fly, or we can stay still here. Three breaths. <clears throat> Two breaths. As we swim my hands to the back, locust pose. Palms are facing upwards or downward, whatever feels good for you. This is a slight back bend. Heart chakra is open, chin is up. Two more breaths. We're gonna hold this pose, we're gonna flow into a sleeping locust. Allowing our legs and our hands to relax down. Shoulders melt forward. We're going to relax on our forehead, third eye chakra. 
taking a nice breath in. Exhale. Feel the nose shoulder blades melt forward. Four breaths. Slowly awakening from that sleeping locust, lifting our bodies back up, locust pose. Two more breaths. As we flow into our bow pose, connecting our right hand to our right ankle, that is a half bow. Complete bow, connecting that left hand to that left ankle. And using our hands to lift our torso further away from the earth. This is a little deeper of a back bend. Bow pose. Four breaths. Two breaths. As we slowly untake our, as we slowly release our hands from our ankles, relaxing the body, we're gonna swim our hands back to the front, flowing back into that Superman, Supergirl. Two breaths. Exhale and back down to that sleeping thin alligator or crocodile. Waking up, coming back to that baby cobra. Exhale into cobra. We're gonna flow, we're gonna untuck our toes, we're gonna flow to a plank or a high plank. Tummies are nice and tight. Here in our high plank. Coming down to low plank. Or chaturanga. Coming on to our tummies. Coming up to that cobra. Chin is up. Exhaling up dog. As we flow to down dog, gazing at the feet, tummies tight. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. As we breathe that right leg up in the air, three-legged dog, right side. As we flow this right foot in front of us, pigeon pose, right foot comes forward, back leg is towards the back. <sighs> this is a hip opener. It's also a relaxing pose if we flow into a sleeping pigeon. We're gonna slightly gaze over our right shoulder, twisting the body, gazing over that right shoulder, feeling that spinal twist. Exhaling back to center. We're gonna gaze over that left shoulder, connecting our left hand to the backs of our left leg, just tapping it there, feeling that twist. If all feels well, we're going to lift that left leg up, bringing that left ankle or left foot into the left hand. King Pigeon. We can option to use a strap. We also can flow into a mermaid by bringing our leg slightly outward towards the side and cuffing our foot in our elbow, if that feels good. So mermaid or King Pigeon, optioning to use the strap, if that feels good. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Three more breaths. Two breaths. <sighs> Exhale, relaxing that foot, twisting the body forward. We're gonna flow into that sleeping pigeon, allowing the torso to come downward towards the thigh. We can cross our arms in front of us, stacking our hands if we choose as our head relaxes on our palms. If that feels good. Four breaths of silence.
slowly awakening from that sleeping pigeon. We're going to untuck that left toe, bringing our right leg back, coming to down dog. Gazing at the feet, tummy's tight. As we walk our dog, pedaling our feet left and right. Finding that pause, we're going to lift that left leg in the air, three-legged dog, opposite side. As we breathe that left foot in front of us, coming up to that pigeon opposite side, left foot flows forward, right leg is straight towards the back, feeling this hip opener. And we're going to slightly gaze over our left shoulder, feeling that spinal twist. Exhaling forward, connecting his right hand to his right thigh as we gaze over our right shoulder. If all feels well, we can come into a king pigeon, lifting up that right foot, connecting that right foot to that right hand, optioning to use that yoga strut, bringing our bodies off towards the side, cuffing that foot into the elbow or the wrist, whatever feels good for you. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Two more breaths. Exhale, slowly relaxing that leg straight to the back, twisting that body forward. We're going to flow into a sleeping pigeon, allowing that torso to come forward. Crossing our hands, our arms in front of us, relaxing our head downward. Solid meditation, four breaths. Mm Slowly awakening from that sleeping pigeon, using our palms to push our torsos up. We're gonna untuck that. We're gonna untuck that right toe. Untucking that right foot, pushing our body up. We're gonna breathe that left leg towards the back, down dog. Shifting our weight forward, high plank. Tummies are tight. Exhaling down to low plank or chaturanga, hovering over the yoga mat. Two breaths. Flowing onto our tummies. We're gonna roll onto our side. We're just hanging out here in our side pose. Working on our alligator. We're gonna lift that leg that's on top up in the air. And our legs represents the alligator's mouth opening. And if we're able, we can straighten that arm that's on the bottom, straighten it out and allow our head to relax on our arm. Our hand in front of us is keeping our balance. But if we can feel like we have balance, we can breathe this arm over our head and connect both of our palms together. Now we are in that alligator fully. And you may feel your thigh, your outer thigh starting to work and burn. This is also a balancing pose. We can close the alligator's mouth if we choose by lowering our leg all the way or slightly. Noticing the different position of our legs determines how much we feel the burn in our thigh. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale that leg down, relaxing that sleeping alligator. Breathing that arm up. We're going to come on out and we are going to switch sides. Just like math, what we do to one side, we have to do to the other. So switching sides, we are on our opposite. 
lifting that leg, lifting that leg on top, up in the air, opening up that alligator's mouth. As we straighten our arm that's going to bottom out above our head, our bodies look like an L. Lowering our head on our arm. Optioning to bring that other arm up in the air, connecting the palms together. Our bodies look like an L. We are in our alligator's Once again, our hands represent the alligator's tail, and our legs represent his mouth. Eating and gobbling. And you may feel that burn. We're going to hold this four more breaths. Two breaths. Slowly crossing that out of his mouth. Breathing that hand above. Lifting our bodies up. We're going to flow onto our backs. We're going to flow onto our backs, coming into a reclined position, hugging our knees into our chest. Shoulder blades melts back into the yoga mat. Gaze in the eyes down. Take it a nice breath in. Exhale. As we breathe our legs up in the air, legs on the wall, pointing our toes upwards towards the heavens, feeling that stretch. Optioning to go up into a wall, optioning to go up towards the wall and keeping our legs on the wall, if that feels good for the remainder of the session. However, if you want to continue to flow, we're going to use our hands to breathe our legs apart, coming into a reclined, wide-legged stretch. You'll feel this in your inner thigh. Optioning to connect your hands to your toes. If that feels good. Two more breaths. Breathing our legs back inward, legs on the wall, hugging our knees into our chest. As our knees flow towards the left, recline spinal twist, left side, knees flow to the left. Feeling that spinal twist. Right arm comes out to the side like a lowercase t. And we are gazed up at the heavens or we are gazed over our right shoulder. Four breaths. Exhaling back to center, hugging our knees into our chest, allowing our knees to flow towards the right, recline spinal twist, opposite side, left arm flows out to the side like a lowercase p, and we are gazed up at the heavens or gazed over that left shoulder. Shoulder blades are melted backwards into the yoga mat. Feeling our body soon. You may feel that spinal cord crack. Just decompressing, relaxing. Four breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, hugging our knees into our chest. As we flow our feet up, we're going to come into a happy baby. Feet are in the air. Knees come slightly towards the chest. Breathing our hands between our thighs. Outward towards the edges, connecting them to our feet. We are in that happy baby. This is a hip opener. We can rock our body from side to side if we choose, using the earth to relax and soothe the spine. Or we can simply stay still in our happy baby. 
whatever you choose to do, freestyle in three, freestyle in six natural breaths. Three breaths. Exhale and legs up in the air, pointing the toes upwards towards the heavens. Breathing our knees into our chest, hugging them in. Allowing our knees to stay in the air as our feet come flat on the earth. So feet is on the earth, knees are in the air. We're going to work on our bridge pose using our Let's place our palms if we choose, placing our palms next to our buttocks right on the earth. We're gonna use our palms and our feet to lift our gluteus maximus off the earth. This is a pelvic tilt, feeling that buttocks come off the earth. You'll feel your gluteus maximus, your butt muscles get nice and tight here. We are rounding and lifting. We can go deeper in this pose by interlacing our hands underneath our buttocks and walking our shoulder blades towards our spine is your chest will come higher in the air. And we can pause the body up and down if we choose. Or we can simply squeeze it up nice and tight and stay still. Whatever you choose, we are working, rounding and lifting our gluteus maximus. Six natural breaths. Squeezing it nice and tight. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Squeeze it up nice and tight. Hold it. Bonus. Squeeze, squeeze. Three breaths. Two breaths. Squeeze nice and tight. Uninterlacing those fingers. Untucking those shoulders. Buttocks come down, breathing the knees into the chest, hugging them in. Uh, shoulders melts towards the back. We can work on a reverse pigeon if we choose. Starting on the right side, lifting that right foot up, crossing that right foot over that left thigh. Breathing the legs towards the torso. You'll feel this stretch behind that right buttocks here. Stretching and soothing the muscle we just worked. Reverse pigeon. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to knees to chest. Opposite side. We're going to cross this left foot over that right thigh. Breathing the thighs towards the chest. You'll feel that stretch here on the left. Gluteus maximum. Relaxing and soothing. Two more breaths. Uncrossing that left foot over that right thigh. Breathing those knees into the chest. Exhaling legs back up in the air, legs on the wall. Reaching down to the backs of our thighs, lower legs. We're gonna breathe our legs towards our torso. Legs to torso stretch, buttocks come slightly off the earth. Three breaths. Exhale up, legs on the wall. Breathing our knees into our chest. Placing our feet flat on the earth. As we straighten our legs side by side, Shavasana, rest pose. Legs are parallel. The sides of our feet are connected. As we allow our feet to fall to the side like a little piece B, relaxing our legs. Placing our hands any place on our bodies or the earth that feels best for us here in our rest pose. 
allowing the shoulders to melt back into the earth. Feel and the body become one with your environment. Take it a nice breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Solid meditation, six natural breaths. Two more breaths. We're gonna roll onto our side, coming into a fetal pose, relaxing and soothing here for four natural breaths. Slowly wiggling our toes, moving our feet at our ankles, rotating our buttocks at our hips as we awaken the body. Using our top hand to lift our bodies up into a seated pose. Any easy seat of choice, I'm going to come into a cow face legs. Tummies are tight, spinal cords nice and elongated here. Shoulders relax downward away from the ears. As we take a nice breath in, exhale. Taking a moment to check in with self as we breathe our palms above our heads and our salute. Palms together, heart chakras open, chin is up. Separating our palms, coming into a seated, extended mountain. Palms are separated as we twist the bodies towards the right. Palms come downward towards the earth, gazing over that right shoulder, seated twist, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming into that seated star. Palms are outward towards the side in our star. As we twist the bodies towards the left, palms come down, gazing over that left shoulder, relaxing and soothing that spine. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, flowing into that star. Coming into that extended mountain. Breathing to salute, palms together. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Exhale, prayer, palms come heart center. Relaxing the shoulders downward away from the ears. Our chin is relaxed. Our facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. Breathe in. Exhale. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time self. 
And I would like to thank you for allowing me to practice self-care with you here today. For it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste. Namaste, peace and blessings. Thank you so much for joining. Until next time, love and light.